time though. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Final Wisdom, where we discuss football. But permit us today to deviate a little. You know we always talk football, but we can't miss the most talked about events right now in the sporting world. AJ versus Francis Ugono. Wow, what a match. With me today is Mr. Ben. Bro. Ah, it's nice to have you, sir. Thank you very much. What do you think about this match? Wow, AJ versus Francis Ugono. The most talked about event right now in sporting history, yes. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a great match. Francis Ngono coming from the UFC. He was uh, the champion of the heavyweight division before he, you know, vacated the belt. And then he came to boxing and he went straight to fight the world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Yeah, exactly. You know, he went 12 rounds with Fury, even dropped him, you know, in that uh, match and so many people still believe that francis won against fury, fury yeah so ty uh francis is definitely a tough opponent but then if you look at anthony joshua he was the golden boy of the heavyweight uh division in boxing before those three losses exactly what are we talking about yeah they won losses. to andy ruiz and twice to usi yes and those losses really you know dented his career but he's on a you know bouncing back process he's won his last three matches against Jermaine franklin uh roberto helenius and otto wallin and this match is uh a make or ma you know event event for his career and um a lot of people may think that i've spoken with a lot of people and they think that francis might wipe the floor with AJ. That's my fear, actually. Yeah, because Tyson dro uh, because Francis dropped Tyson Fury when he fought Tyson Fury, and a lot of people believe Tyson Fury is a far better boxer, boxer than, than AJ. AJ. But one thing you have to know in boxing is that styles make fights. You know, Francis may have had, uh, you know, that kind of performance against. Uh, Fury, which I commend him for his punching power and everything. A lot of people thought Tyson Fury was going to wear him out, but he was strong, you know, from start to finish. But styles make fight. I'll give you an example. Kevin Johnson, the American, fought Tyson Fury. He went 12 rounds. This same Kevin Johnson got knocked out by AJ. AJ. Then uh, Vladimir Klitschko went 12 rounds with Tyson Fury. Klitschko got knocked out by AJ. Then AJ's last opponent, Otto Wallin, that was, I think, that has to be Fury's toughest fight that he went 12 rounds. He had a deep cut and he just survived by the whiskers. But Otto Wallin got knocked out in the fifth round by AJ. So you can see three opponents who went the distance uh, with Fury got knocked out by Anthony Joshua. And Ngannou went the distance with Fury. Joshua is saying he's going to knock him out. I know uh, Francis is a very different fighter much stronger fighter physically and a, uh, you know, a, a, a heavier puncher than all these guys I, I mentioned. But uh, styles make fight, like I said. And um, you can say that AJ is not the fighter that he used to be. But the man is coming back. He's coming back strong. Those guys he fought are not... They, they are very good boxers. A lot of people don't you know, get to check the background of those guys. But AJ came out victorious. Uh, and I think this fight... If you look at those two men... They are physically matched, uh, almost physically matched. Ngano, 37, 117 kilograms and, you know, 83 meters in reach. And uh, Joshua, 111 kg, uh, 34 years old, 80 meters in reach. So I think they are almost matched physically. We expect to see a great fight. Uh, it's going to be a very dangerous one, but I'm, I'm rooting for Anthony Joshua. Yeah, I know you would always root for Anthony Joshua as, as, yes. a, as a Nigerian. Yes. But do you feel like Anthony Joshua would have that ability to give that his strong left hook? Yeah. Would would Francis gonna give him that space, knowing that that has been his greatest uh, the, the positioning? Well, I think uh, now you are basically talking about how I think Joshua will approach yes. the fight. We might be seeing the kind of Joshua we saw in uh, Joshua versus. Andy Ruiz, too. You know, after he came all out the first time and he got knocked, knocked out, out, he couldn't handle, handle those blows because Joshua 
has always typically had problems with opponents that he's taller than. You know, when he comes in and he tries to throw, you know, they duck and they hit him. So he fought Southpaw against Andy Ruiz, stepped back a little, and he was just, he made sure he kept Andy Ruiz behind those jabs. And occasionally, only on few occasions, did he try to throw the left, left hook, hook and, you know, those combinations. And he was able to really torture Andy Ruiz with those jabs throughout that game, and he retained his title. I think he's going to go Southpaw against Francis Ngonu, and it's going to be much more difficult to keep a Francis at bay yes. for 12 rounds. Uh, that's going to be very, very much more difficult than it was against Ruiz because uh, uh, Francis will definitely try to break that ring. So what I believe is going to happen if, if, if we are going to see an, an Anthony Joshua win, I believe it might go longer than it would be if it's a, a Francis Ngannou win. Yeah. We might we might see a decision, maybe a, a decision based on unanimous. Uh... I I I don't see a stoppage because Francis is a very tough guy. For you to punish him enough to bring a, a stoppage, stoppage yeah. you might take some very heavy hits yourself. <laughs> so it might it might go maybe a decision. Uh, might go Joshua's way. If Francis Ngannou were to win, it would be a knockout. He he, he does not understand. As strong as he is, he doesn't understand the boxing ring like a typical boxer who has had 30 heavyweight, you know, boats. So it might be a knockout for Francis Ngonu if he were to win and maybe unanimous decision for Anthony Joshua or at best a stoppage if he were to win. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Now, let me deviate from boxing a bit. Okay. You know, this is... This is typically Nigeria versus Cameroon again. Yes. We saw that happen in the AFCON, where we dealt with them. We saw that happen in the qualifiers of the Olympics at the National Stadium in Abuja. Well, with AJ. Well, I, 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 I would not like to, I would not like to make it, make this a typical Nigeria Cameroon uh, thing because I'm not, so, I'm not as confident in this oh, game wow, as wow, I am, wow, wow. as I am in those other games. This is boxing. One shot, AJ might be having a good game, and just one lucky shot from Francis. And just change the whole thing. So I'm not going to the Nigeria Cameroon argument because if we do that this time around, Cameroon indomitable lions, and we are just eagles. There's no way eagles can, you can stand the lion. Stand you know? lion. So let's just. Um, I wish AJ well. I wish. I hope we, he comes out victorious. I've never wanted AJ to win a boxing, you know, but like I do want him to win this time around. I wish him well. Wish him well. Francis, I like Francis too. The whole story around him, everything, how he came, you know, from you know, you the, know the, how the he story rose. Is, the story is very is, is, touching, is story, touching story, very touching story. I rooted for him. I went all the way for him against Tyson Fury, even though I love Tyson Fury. I was okay with the result. I went for Francis Ogonu and he did very, very well. But this time around I have to go with AJ. I love Francis though, but I go with AJ. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. You would really finish this topic. Yeah. Wow. He's saying it is going to be AJ for him. Unanimous decision. That if a, that is if AJ is able to go, if Ugono is able to go through the whole round with, with AJ. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See and you I next also time. predicted at best is a, a stoppage. At best, a stoppage for uh, AJ.